Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Gabby. How are you? Very well, teacher. Thanks. Very good to hear that. How about you, Samuel? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Hi, Miss. Hi, Lorena. How are you? Bien, Miss. Muchas gracias. Excellent. Very good to hear you. Guys, let me check. Eh, Samuel, mire, usted me había preguntado por un manual, ¿verdad? La clase pasada. Yes. Bueno, sí. le comento que no está disponible para este nivel, ¿ok? Solo estaba disponible para el nivel 1, me comentaron a mí, ¿ok? Eh, me dijeron como respuesta. Entonces, sí. solamente eso. Que para este nivel no está disponible el manual, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Excellent, you're welcome. All right, everybody. Hello, Marlon. How are you? You're welcome. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good to see you. All right, everybody. Let's check. Let's see what do we have for today's class, everybody. What do you do? That's the topic. We are officially in section three. Oficialmente ya estamos en la sección tres, okay? As always, beginner two, class number five, all right? Let's check, what do we have? Do you remember? Mention at least three vocabulary words related to furniture, all right? If you remember last class, we saw the furniture vocabulary. If you remember, for example, curtains, um, a stove, and uh, lamps, right? Now, I need you to tell me three vocabulary words related to that topic. Ahora les voy a pedir que me regalen tres palabras del vocabulario relacionada a ese tema. Let's start with Gaby Molina. Okay, Gaby, tell me three. Dígame tres, pal tres palabras nuevas que usted aprendió de ese vocabulario. <laughs> de las que vio, o sea, de esas mismas que vio, Gaby. No recuerda el furniture, tiene apagado el micrófono. <coughs> the furniture, mobiliaria, all right. Vimos la clase antepasada, creo que fue la clase pasada. Mm, bathroom. Uh, no, Bed esas son las parts of the house. Luego vimos no, uno no. de furniture. No, no remember. You don't remember <laughs> what about love. <laughs> Uh, stove, dresser, uh, table. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Super good. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, my gosh, God. Parco del vocabulary. Okay. No sé por qué no tengo anotado. Okay, léalo. Puede leerlo de ahí, Gabi. Los que tenga. Pero solamente tres. Pero es que no tengo anotado, no sé. Ah, no los tiene anotados. Ok, don't worry. Then let's go to somebody else. Vamos con eh, Lorena. Let's see, Lorena. ¿Cuáles tiene usted? Solamente tres. Ok, Miss. Permítame. Um, coffee table, uh -huh. dresser, stove. Excellent. Very good, Lorena. Thank you. Thank Samuel you. Flores, tell me three vocabulary words related to furniture. Rack, um, main roll, e table. Excellent, sir. Very good job. Let's see. Let's go with Marlon. Tell me three vocabulary words that you remember. Um, um, Euro. Um, Table night? I don't know is correct. Table. Creo que era coffee table. Okay, coffee table. Mm -hmm. um, heat. Sofa. All right, sofa. Uh -huh, exactly. Very good. It's a no hay donde perderse, Marlon. Very good. And what about um, Carla Melissa? Uh -huh, Carla, tell me another three. Dígame otras tres. Thank you. 
Uy, se le apagó el micrófono, Carlita. Lo tenía encendido, pero se le apagó. Ahora... I'm sorry, lo siento, la interrumpí. Continue. <laughs> uh, mirror, sofa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Only mirror and sofa. Guys, what about dresser? Uh, mm -hmm. Let me check. Coffee table, curtains, curtains, uh -huh. curtains, very good, excellent. We got different things like pictures. Uh, what else did we have? Bed, um, let me think, microwave oven, refrigerator. All right, you guys, listen. Sé que el vocabulary puede parecer algo bien, bien basic de aprender, ¿verdad? O bien fácil, pero... Eh, no se tienen que olvidar de eso y la única manera en la que no se van a olvidar es poniéndolo en práctica sí, lo vimos hace dos clases pero ven, les puse esta pregunta y aquí demostramos si recordamos si lo hemos estudiado right y la verdad es que es bien interesante tener este vocabulary porque al momento de trabajar la parte gramatical usted puede hacer uso de este vocabulary ok, so let's always try to write it down Tratemos de escribirlo si sabemos que nos va a costar estar viendo el video mucho de la plataforma, ¿ok? Now, let's move on. For singular objects, a structure, let's listen to Maybelline. Maybelline, leanos la estructura de singular objects, please. Uh, structure there plus is or isn't plus a or not uh, plus complement. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, plural object there plus are or aren't plus some or, uh, or any or not plus complement. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. Basically, you need to know the structure because we saw it in last class, right? Um, you need to learn how to express when you have something or when you don't, you don't have something. Necesita aprender a expresar cuando sí hay algo en existencia y cuando no. Si recuerdan la conversación decía, vimos una conversación de una chica que se había mudado, right? Y decía, but there isn't any sofa or there aren't any chairs and things like that, right? Entonces usted tiene que aprender a utilizar los plurals, por ejemplo, Utiliza el there are o el there aren't with plural nouns, right? Con sustantivos plurales. And then you use singular, eh, singular options when you are only talking about one thing, one singular noun, okay? There you go. Now let's move on to the readings, all right? Vamos a ver, miren. As always, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna beg you to learn the vocabulary. Como siempre, le voy a pedir que Presten mucha atención al vocabulario, traten de memorizárselo, de conocerlo, ¿ok? Porque eso les va a ayudar al momento de hacer grammatical tenses. Now, reading two special houses. Vamos con un reading porque aquí practicamos la lectura, el escuchar, el hablar y el leer, ¿ok? Bueno, es lo mismo la lectura. Let's continue with this. <coughs> Voy yo primero, escuchen cuidadosamente la pronunciación. Esto es la última parte de la section 2, all right? Que de seguro ustedes ya lo trabajaron, pero vamos a ver cómo está nuestra pronunciation y cómo está especialmente nuestro reading. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Cisneros loves it, all right? Aunque los demás digan que tiene mucho col muchos colores su casa, ella está happy with that, feliz con eso, okay? She doesn't care about it. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna make it bigger. Voy a hacerlo más grande la pantalla. 
Ok, ahora sí, cuando los ponga a leer, ustedes podrán leer. Let's start with, vamos a iniciar con Katia Canjura, please. Puede leerme el reading. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house in, is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mr. Cisneros is a Mexican American writer. 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 She she is famous for the hit interesting story. The house has approached with a pink fork. The rooms are green, pink, and people, purple, perdón. There are many books and colorful paintings, many other houses near Mr. Cisneros. House are weird or beige, so her house is very different. Some of all her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mr. Cisneros love it. Excellent. Love it. Repeat after me, Katia. White. 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 Miss Cisneros. Miss Cisneros. Excellent. Thank you, Katia. Thank you, Thank you so Katia. much for your reading. Let's go with Gaby Molina. Okay, Gaby, read it, please. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American bride. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch, white, a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful painting. Many other house near Mrs. Nero's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it. Excellent, very good job, Gaby. Thank you. Now, el Miche, vamos a ver. Ah, aquí está. Repeat after me, Gaby. Purple. Purple. Excellent, very good. Purple. Now, let's go with the next one. Guys, no nos confundamos, ok, estudiantes, entre with a pink floor y el color white, all right? With se pronuncia with, white se pronuncia white. Now let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in a traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her home. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Now, let me make this one bigger. There you go. Okay, let me tell you something. Cuando usted, usted está haciendo un read on everybody, un reading, eh, no es imprescindible, all right, que usted lea rápido o si usted lee despacio. Lo que sí es necesario y muy importante es que usted mencione bien las palabras. Por ejemplo, tenemos palabras que tienen S al final. Let's check some of them. Chequemos algunas de ellas. For example, tribes. No podemos decir American tribe porque estamos hablando de las tribus americanas, entonces está en plural, American tribes. Esa S suena. Hotels. Si yo digo hotel, me refiero a uno. Y el reading está, está hablando de muchos. 
Entonces tenemos que decir hotels, homes, homes, hogans, hogans, invites, invites, visitors, visitors. Esas S de plurals pueden ser a veces, cuando uno está muy concentrado en el reading, puede ser difícil de pronunciar. But try, to, right? Pero intent, okay? That's the best, the best way possible in which you can learn. Esa es la mejor manera en la cual usted puede aprender. Vamos con Marlon Escalante, please. Read the paragraph. Okay. Every year, many people visit Arizona uh, to learn about Native American trees. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stayed in a traditional Native American homes called organs. Uh, Lorraine Nelson and teachers from Arizona invite in, in uh, in this unit, this is story to stay. stay. Uh, this is it to stay here. Ogan, it, it has third shears to bed on the floor and a wall booming stove. Yes, wood burning stove. Wool burning stove, Miss mm -hmm. Nelson t shirts, her guest about Native American traditional traditions. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Marlon. Repeat after me, Marlon. Native. Native. Mm -hmm. Native. Very good. That's it. It's just stuff. Okay. Now, everybody, let's check this one. Uh, vamos a ver. Uh, Algunas palabras se nos podrían hacer difíciles de pronunciar, como invites, aunque lo felicito, Marlon, porque todas esas S sí se escucharon, right? Cuando habían plurals. Uh, tribes, Native American tribes. Okay, now let's go with another one. Ahora vamos con alguien más que nos haga reading. Let's go with Samuel Isaac Flores, please. Every year. Many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in the traditional. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Per... Native. What, what do you say, teacher? Native uh -huh. American homes. College Ongs, Lauren Nelson, a teacher from Arizona. Invites. Invites. What do you say, teacher? Invites. Invites visitors to stay in her organ. It has three chair to beds on the floor and wall burning stove. Miss Nelson. Teach her goods about Native American tradition. Excellent. Very good job, Samuel. Thank you. Now, let's go with another one. Vamos con somebody else. Vamos con alguien más, okay? Let's go with, vamos a ver, Silvia Flores. Action, Silvia. Every chair. Many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in horrors, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called hogams. Lauren Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stop. Miss Nelson teaches her. Her gifts about Native American tradition. Wow, excellent, Miss Flores. Pretty pronunciation. Now, let's check everybody. Let's see, ¿qué es wood burning stop? A ver, let's see. Si tenían la duda y investigaron. 
Ah, uh -huh, nobody investigate. Wood burning stuff. No, es esa parte uh -huh. que está como tipo montaña. Y está como, como una tipo right? cueva. No. And actually... Es como es una cocina un... de leña. Exactly. That's correct. Very good. Stuff nos hace... Eh, nos hace reconocer que está hablando de una cocina. In wood burning, está hablando de una cocina eh, de madera o de leña. Si no sabe, right? que es como nosotros la conocemos very good entonces basically the Hogan's básicamente los Hogan's son como esas casitas que ven ahí en la picture right? como tipo montañitas o cuevitas tienen furniture right? they, they have furniture si sí tienen mobiliaria pero quizás no es tanto como un hotel o algo más ¿verdad? pero debe ser bastante nice quedarse ahí now let's check you guys let's see what else ahora sí let's get started with section three jobs vocabulary and activities tenemos el vocabulario de los trabajos o empleos o profesiones and activities y las actividades que se realizan con la mayoría o algunos de estos jobs pay carefully attention to my pronunciation okay Cashier, cook or chef, doctor, fly attendant, judge, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard. No es security guard, no, 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 es security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. La diferencia entre waiter es, waiter es, camar, es mesero y waitress es camarera, ok? They have it this way, ellos lo crearon de esa manera y tenemos que respetar. Aunque nosotros le digamos mesero, mesera, camarero, camarera, no. They have it waiter or waitress. Now, eh, ¿alguna palabra que tengan dudas de qué significa la profesión? You can ask. Pueden preguntar. Singer teacher. ¿Cuál? Singer. Singer es cantante. Cantante. Ok. Mm -hmm. Yes. person. Ah, salesperson es vendedor. Fly attendant. Fly hermosa. Aeromosa. Yes, sir. Exactly. Aeromosa. What about lawyer? Okay, the lawyer. ¿Qué sería el lawyer? Know. Yes, sir. Let's see. A judge. Judge. Juez. Ajá. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Very good. You recognize the vocabulary then. Now, as I already practiced, now it's your turn, guys, to practice. Let's go from the bottom to the top. Vale, me voy a ir a los últimos que me aparecen aquí en la listita de Zoom. Y vamos a iniciar con ellos. Let's get started with Karen Marisol. Ok, Karen, dígame, por favor, todo el vocabulary. Cash, cook or chef, doctor, fly attendant, judge. Ya, ya les dije que tengamos cuidado con el micrófono. Se nos puede abrir de repente. Yo bien confundida creyendo que usted está participando. Vamos con Karen Marisol Escalante Osorio, please. Cashier, doctor, chef, doctor, fly attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sales, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent, thank you, Karen. Let's go with Kenya Cordera, please. Cashier, cook, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, a musician, nurse, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security. Eh, guard, 
guard, san, singer, waiter, eh, y waitress. Excellent. Thank you, Kenya. Let's go with Blanca Hernández. After Blanca, Katia Canjura. En la pronunciación de singer, se equivocó. Yeah, it's singer. All right, singer. Let's check. Vamos con Blanca. Eh, ok. Eh, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fringe, admin, eh, youth, player, música. Ok, repita hasta mi blanquita. Flight Ajá. attendant. Flight Attend. attender. Flight Judge. attender. Jets. Jets. Lawyer. Lawyer. Musician. Musician. Nurse. Nurse. Uh -huh. Pilot. Police of officers. Officer. Police officer. Receptionist. Uh, Sales Salish. person. Sales person. Security guard. Singer. White. Waiters. Ok, repeat after me. Cashier. Uh -huh. Cashier. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. Waiter. Excellent. Thank you, Blanquita. Very good job. Okay. Okay. Let's go with Katia Canjura. After Katia, Samuel Isaac. Teacher, cook chef, doctor, fly attendant. Eh, la otra no sé cómo se llama. Judge. 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 La, lawyer. Mm. Musician. M Musician. Musician. Yes. Nurse. Pilot. 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 Yes. yes. Police office. Eh, receptionist. Sales person. Security guard. Singer. Waiter y waiter. Excellent, Miss Kangura. Repeat after me. Police officer. Police, ¿cómo? Officer. 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 Yes. Sales person. ¿Cómo? Sales person. Sales person. Security guard. Security guard. Excellent. Thank you, Katia. Very Katia. good job. Let's go with Samuel. Cashier, cook, chief, doctor, fly attendant, youth, youth, player, music, music. Musician? How do you say? <laughs> Musician, nurse, pilot, police office, officer, receptionist. Salis person, security guard, singer, waiters, watchers. Okay, repeat after me, Sam. Singer. Okay. Singer. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Excellent. All right, guys. Let me go again with some of the vocabulary words. Si notaron, Samuel eh, dijo police office, pero él recapacitó y se dio cuenta que era officer. All right. Y eso no solo le pasó a él, le ha pasado como cuatro personas. Entonces, tenemos, lo bueno es que él, él logró ver ese mistake. Así es como quiero que todos traten de enfocarse en el vocabulario. No es solo decir el vocabulario como caiga, no. Tienen que decirlo as the, the way it is, all right? Police officer, police officer, salesperson. No decimos salesperson porque eso no existe. Es salesperson, salesperson. Uh, singer, no decimos singer, no, 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 decimos singer, singer, singer. Let's go with, ahora vamos con Carla Colocho. After Carla, Gaby Molina. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly attendant, chat, Lauger, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, 
waiter, waitress. Excellent. Thank you, Carlita. Very good job. Let's go with Gabby. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, judges, language, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sales person, security guard, guard uh -huh. singer, writer, wires. Okay, repeat after me, honey. Judge. Judge. Lawyer. Lawyer. Uh, vamos a ver. Salesperson. Salesperson. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Molina. Very good job. Let's go with, vamos a ver, Marlon Escalante, please. Después de Marlon, iría, eh, ya les digo, Maybelline Carolina. Action, Marlon. Well, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly attendant. Dot, liar, musician, nurse, pilot, police officers, receptions, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiters, and waitress. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Maybelline Cisneros, please. Luego de Maybelline, Lorena Alvarez. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor. Play attendant, Jude, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sales salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, white waitress. Excellent. Thank you, Mrs. Neras. Let's go with Lorena. Cashel. Cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, judges, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sales person, security guard, senior, waiter, waitress. Excellent. Repeat after me, Lorena. Judge. Judge. Excellent. Very good. Fue la única, Lorena. Excelente. Very good job. Gracias. Now, everybody, let's check this up. Vamos a movernos aquí. Estas son las mismas, ¿ok? El mismo vocabulary. Now, let's go with places. Of course, as every job, con todo trabajo, tiene su lugar de empleo, right? O sea, tiene su lugar donde se desarrolla el trabajo. En este caso tenemos places. Tenemos in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Remember, in a hotel. No decimos hotel, decimos hotel. Then we've got the activities. Cada una de estas personas, de acuerdo a su profesión, eh, they have a specific activities, right? Ellos tienen actividades específicas. For example, wears a uniform, sits all day, Talks to people, no mencionamos la L, solamente decimos talks to people, talks to people. Works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets, all right? Let's check. Vamos con, vamos a iniciar con Víctor Gutiérrez. Veamos, Víctor, si ahora nos funciona el audio. Sí, me escucha. Yes. Lo escuchamos. Díganme el vocabulario de places y cuando termine con places se va a activities. Ok. Place. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Repeat, Victor. Permítame, Victor. Repeat. Hotel. Hotel. Excellent. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard, stand all day, handles money, works at night, waitress tickets. Excellent, right tickets. Very good. Thank you, Victor. Let's go with Fanny Asensio, please. Activities. Where's our. Ese voy a leer, ¿verdad? Eh, los dos, places and activities. Okay. 
place. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. 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 Mm -hmm. Activities. Wears a uniform, sits all day, tells, tell, talks to people, mm -hmm. work hard, stand all day, handles, handles money, works a night, writes tickets. Excellent. Thank you, Fanny. Now, everybody, let's check this out. Antes de continuar con todos los demás que practiquen su vocabulary, porque voy a todos, a la mayoría voy a poner a practicar con el vocabulary para que no se me les olvide. Ven aquí ustedes esta palabra. Dice places, plural. Esa S suena, amigos, ok, suena. Places, no podemos decir place, porque estamos hablando de cuatro places. Entonces decimos places, Places. Um, esta de handles money. A ver, ¿qué significará handles money? Manejar dinero. Exactly, Karen. That's correct. Thank you. Ok, esa sería quizás la más difícil que podríamos tener porque no conocíamos la palabra handles. Usted puede utilizar la palabra handles para todo, right? I can handle my life, no puedo manejar mi vida, I can handle the computer, no puedo manejar la computadora, right? Different things. Usted puede hacer uso de la palabra handles, es súper genial utilizarla, right? In every different context, you got it, okay? Now, let's go with, vamos con Samuel Isaac. Después de Samuel Isaac, vamos con eh, Silvia Flores. Action, Samuel. Places in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, activities, wears an uniform, sits high day, talks to people, works and hard, stands and day, handles money, work at night, right? Tickets. Excellent. Thank you, Samuel. Let's go with Sylvia. Place. In a hospital, in Places. a office. Place. In a hospital, in a office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform, sipped all day, told to people, works hard. hard. Stand all day, homeless money, worth up night, white ticket. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Flores. Let's go with Gaby Molina. Después de Gaby, Marlon Escalante. Places. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, hotel activities. Green a uh, universe. Come. Where's? Where's our uniform? Sees all day. Take to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles, handles money. Works at night. Rice ticket. Excellent. Thank you, Gaby. Very good job. Excellent, Gaby. Let's go with Marlon. Places in a hospital, in a hospice, in a store, in a hotel, activity. Words uniform, uh, six all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, uh, works at night, and read, write ticket. Excellent. Thank you, Marlon. That's correct. Let's go with Carla Melissa, please. Luego de Carla, iría Blanca Hernández. Action, Carla. Places. In a hospital, in a office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wear a uniform, sit all day, talk to, talk to people, work, work hard, Stand whole day, hundreds money, works and I, 
right ticket. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. That's correct. Let's go with. A ver, a ver, a ver. Ya, eh, ya la dejé. Se hizo que se me olvidara a quién le había dicho. Ah, Blanca. <laughs> okay, Blanquita, action. Okay. Place in a hospital, in a office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities where. Uh, we're in uniform. Where's I? Wives in uniform. Sit I die. Tell kids do people works hard. Stand I die. Has money works I at it night. Great ticket. Excellent. Blanca, repeat after me. Handles okay. money. Handles money. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Very good. Everybody, no nos olvidemos de esa es en places. All right. Very good. Now, my dear students, let's move on. What else do we have? Me hicieron falta personas practicar el vocabio. Vale. Si tenemos tiempo al final, I'm going to let you go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let you pass, actually. Guiding examples. ¿Cómo utilizamos este vocabulary, teacher? ¿Para qué lo vamos a aprender? Let's check. A chef works in a restaurant. Place. Estoy hablando de el lugar donde el chef ejerce su profesión. A chef wears a uniform. Un chef utiliza uniforme. All right. Activity. ¿Cuál es su activity? Utilizar. Obviamente su activity es cooking, right? Pero aquí lo han puesto como wears a uniform, una activity, ¿ok? No es que solo eso pasa haciendo, pero eso es lo que pusieron. We need to respect it. Now, eh, let's check. Vamos a pedirle a Lorena Álvarez, léame estas dos oraciones de nuevo, please. Ok. A chef works in a restaurant place. A chef where wears a uniform activity. Excelente, very good job, Lorena. ¿Se fijaron? Lorena había dicho where, pero recapacitó y dijo where's. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Yeah, there you go. Okay, my dear students, you're welcome. Let's see, let's practice. Practiquemos, okay? Let me have Maybelline, por favor, léame las instructions, please. Let's practice work individually. Create at least three sentences using the vocabulary present. Then share, then share your sentence with the class. Excellent, all right. Three, three sentences. Quiero tres oraciones utilizando el vocabulario que ya tienen, que ya copiaron, que ya practicaron. Okay. Pero si en dado caso no lo tenemos, ya les voy a poner la lámina del vocabulary donde aparece places y activities. Eh, pero no puedo estarlo mixando, ¿verdad? Los dos. Eh, van a utilizar tanto los jobs como los places o las activities, así como el ejemplo que les di, ¿ok? En este caso, si usted desea, puede hacer dos oraciones con places y una con activities o vice versa, right? O viceversa, usted decide. Pero quiero tres sentences, ¿ok? Let's practice, please.
Finish means. Excellent, very good job. Let's check quién, Lorena. Excellent, Lorena. Vale, Lorena, vamos a darle unos tres minutos más a sus compañeros o dos minutos y vamos a iniciar con usted, ¿ok? Ok. Porque si les dice ahorita les va a dar copia. <risa> <risa> ok. Okay, let's start with Lorena. Let me hear you, Lorena. Okay, Mitch. Um, uh, doctor works hard activity. Uh, cashier, cashier work in a store place. Mm -hmm. Cashier handles money activity. Yeah, very good. Cashier handles money. A cashier. A cashier, necesita ahí el la, a cashier. right? Cheer. Un cajero, para decir a un cashier. cajero. Right? Excuse me. Hasta Thank me you. dio todo de ver lo excelente que le quedaron. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's check somebody else. ¿Alguien más que ya finalizó, everybody? Me, teacher. Excellent. ¿Quién es mi? Karen Marisol. Ah, sí, Karen. Action. <clears throat> he is waiter. He works in a hotel. Waiter service to other people. Salesperson working in a, a store. Salesperson sells products to others. Security guard works in a store. Security guard takes care of people. Excellent, Karen. Very good sentences. You gave them context. Very good. You nailed the link, guys. Miren, saben que aprender a hacer oraciones así de bien formadas como ustedes las tienen. Uno, aparte de que es una buena señal porque significa que ustedes sí están comprendiendo el tema y están trabajando bien. Aparte, les va a facilitar mucho cuando ya les toque hacer quizás un examen escrito o a donde tengan que poner un párrafo entero. Porque ustedes ya saben cómo idear las sentences, right? Dependiendo del grammatical things. Very good. ¿Alguien más? Ajá, Silvia. Let me hear you. No. <laughs> the musician plays in the restaurant. The nurse work all night at the hospital. In the story, they sell white tickets all right in the store they they no in the store they write tickets mire write tickets más que todo es quizás en los lugares como 
como es escribir tickets, sería como lugares como el cinema, right? Como el cinema, como el cine, all right? Most of them. But the other two are correct, Silvia. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with somebody else. Alguien más o ya empiezo a decir yo quiénes van a pasar. The nice way or the hard way. <laughs> Vamos por la manera amable y fácil o la manera donde yo lo averiguo que me digan las sentencias. Ok, vaya, entonces, ajá, Gaby, excelente. Yes, teacher. Hacer persons words in a store. Uh -huh. uh, sales, sales person um, tell to people. Talks to people, ajá. Uh -huh. A uh, doctor works in a hospital. Wow, excellent, Gaby. Uh -huh. uh -huh. A singer, singer works hard. Works, works hard. hard, it's true, yes. Si no crean que es tan fácil ser cantante, right? No pueden tomar nada de lado nunca. <laughs> excellent, Gaby. Thank you so much. Vamos con Samuel Flores. Ajá, uh -huh, Samuel. Quiero escuchar esas sentences. I don't know if you need me, teacher. Mm, ok, vaya. Démosle unos minutitos ya. Un más, Samuel. Vamos con Marlon Escalante. Ok. Um, the nurse works in a hospital. Um, the pilot works in a aeroplane working an aeroplane and cashiers work in a in a hotels in hotels mm, are you sure maybe <laughs> maybe it could be all right yes martin en la palabra que usted quería pronunciar era and i be this aeroplane Airplane. 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 Very good. Así es, Marta. Vamos a ver si el cashier puede trabajar en un hotel. Sí. Yes. Ok. Very good job, Marla. Can I read? Well ¿Ah? Can I read? Can you read? No, no, no. Can I be? Hey, wait. Can I be? Puede ser. Can it be? Can it be? Ah, right. can it be? Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good, Martin. Sí, está correcto, sí puede ser. All right, now let's go with Fanny Asensio. Teacher, no las ha terminado todas, pero de esas de place puedo decir I am in the office. I am going to the hospital. Um, no se me ocurre otra vez. Yeah, very good. Okay, Maybelline. Uh, I mean, yeah, Maybelline. No, Fanny. <laughs> All right, excellent. Sí, está correcto, Fanny. Las sentences están correctas. No era la actividad en cómo le íbamos a trabajar, pero están correctas las sentences, right? No tengo okay. nada que decir. Very good. Okay. Now, let's go with, vamos con... Karen Marisol. I pass, but if you want, I can say others. What? You already passed? Yes. Oh, Jesus, Karen, sorry. <laughs> Let's go with Maybelline Cisneros. A ver, Maybelline, usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad? Okay, yes, uh... A receptionist works in a hotel. Uh, a police officer uh, works in a police station. Mm -hmm. And a cashier works a uh, handles money. And excellent, Maybelline, very good. Me gustó esa police station porque no lo teníamos aquí dentro del vocabulary, pero sí es parte de eso. All right, okay. es parte de los places. Very good, Maybelline. Nos hizo falta ese place aquí. Vamos con Carla Melissa, please. A nurse works 
in a clinic, a doctor works in a hospital, a cashier works in a store. In a store, excellent, because she works in a store. Let me check. Samuel, ya finalizó las sentences, al menos dos, Samuel. Uh, una, teacher. <laughs> Vaya, a ver, léala. A uh, comedian work talks the people. Mm. A, Vaya, comedian a comedian talks, uh -huh. a comedian works to talk to people. Mm. Vaya, ahí solo tiene que decir a comedian talks to people. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, Samu, it's okay, it's correct. Solo quítele el words, de ahí vamos muy bien, Samu. Okay. Excellent, sir. Y la, el, me quedé empezando la otra. Era a security girl works at night. Yes, a security girl works at night. Yes, very good. Ya ves, Samuel, si tenía. Excelente sentence. <laughs> All right, everybody, let me ask you something. Finalizamos la sección 1 y 2 durante el fin de semana, ¿verdad? O antes del fin de semana. Yes, no? Yes, miss. Yes, excellent. Vaya, yes. miren, para los que entraron eh, cuando ya sí había iniciado la clase un poquito avanzada, yeah. quiero comentarles que Samuel me preguntó la semana pasada si iban a tener eh, manual para este nivel. Y la respuesta es no. Yo ya consulté y me dijeron no. Para este nivel no hay manual. Solo era para el nivel 1, ¿ok? Así que solamente eso quería comentarles. Eh, decirles que ya pueden iniciar avanzando con la section 3, ¿ok? Recordarles, everybody, que por favor, cuando usted pida ayuda por un ejercicio, sea específico la sección, el literal exacto, si es 1.2, 1.3, si es la B, la A, ¿all right? Porque si no, a mí se me complica un poco poder brindarle una respuesta, ¿ok? Porque me toca andar buscando en toda la plataforma. Cuando usted puede ir straight to the point, directamente al punto y decir en esto y eso, ¿ok? All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to see you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.